Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Well, hello. Thank you for being back with us here for our spring break edition of Human Humane Architecture here from our innovative island of Oahu, Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And DeSoto and myself. How do you do? Good, good. Nice to see you. Likewise, what are we going to do for spring break? Do we go to Cancun or? No, 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 no. We're not going to go there. We're going to go to someplace here. Oh. We're going to have a staycation. Okay. And we're going to go okay. to a kind of a cool place. Okay. And Is it new? Is it new? Friend? It's not new. In nice. fact, it's behind us and oh. it's the Ely Kai Hotel. All right. Let's check why that might be cool. Let's yeah. get the first picture. It gets us back to the mid 60s here. Um, and um, this is where, as you can see on the right, people were shooting, these people here in this culture, yes. country, shooting people to the moon. Shooting people to the moon. The picture below is saying hi to my best buddy Dan Kubrick, my first American friend. And when I came to his, the, his parents' house in, in, in Omaha, Nebraska, he opened the two-star garage. There was a 67 Pontiac GDO staring at me. And like we see in the picture in the bottom. Yeah, and, and this was one, and so I sent it to Dan the other day and said, Correct. hi, and you were driving in that classic vehicle up there. I was the, being driven around in the 1961 Buick Special, later the 1963 Chevrolet Chevy mm -hmm. 2 station wagon. Mm -hmm. uh, during that time period, yes. Exactly. The next picture is the, uh, the building we're talking about with his two uh, neighbors. Yep. And from uh, right to left, it's the Hilton Hawaiian Village, the Rainbow Tower that yep. we have featured in shows like uh, Kaiser's Mainstream yes. Hawaii. Yes. Also, um, Tropical Tourism, our expert Suzanne is back on the island and here with us in the studio. Hi, Suzanne. <laughs> and then in the middle of it, uh, about Edwin Bauer's Lagoon Tower uh, with John Williams. And we also had briefly touched on our building in the very left corner in, in one show, and that is uh, between the palm trees on the top left, uh, the Ilikai, as yes. we said. And let's put it into perspective, and next picture it also relates to a recent show of ours, right? Yes. And what, what we discovered was not well, because we went to the, we went out to Makaha Valley, we mm -hmm. looked at the remains of the Makaha Valley Inn, and that was a project that was also done by Chin Ho, who mm -hmm. was the developer of the of Ilikai, originally started by the Dillingham Company. Mm -hmm. uh, financially, they needed to divest themselves of that. Chin, Chin Ho took it over mm -hmm. and got it built starting in 1964. Mm -hmm. And next picture, also familiar to us, is the architect of this building here, because Correct. he was the architect of the Alamoana building, which was built, I think, two years before, we said. Yeah, 61. And it was built a year before he built the Space Needle. And talking innovations, as we pointed out in the show, it had a couple, but one that relates is the Flying Saucer, the revolving yes. restaurant, formerly yes. the La Ronde. Yes. And he tested it for the Space Needle. Yes. A year after. Right. But uh, the next picture shows the context actually pre the Ilikai here. Yes, yes. We can see the, the construction site almost in front of us. We still see the uh, talking uh, Kaiser. We had a show that called yeah. it uh, his uh, avant-garde yes. Kaiser Hawaii, and it right. had still the, uh, the, the dome. Right. Right. The Hilton Hawaiian Village, or the Hawaiian Village, was Kaiser's development, and mm -hmm. you see that in the bottom corner. Yeah. And that was really, uh, really very innovative, but the Ilikai was going to be built just a little bit after this picture was taken, right down in the bottom of the, of the mm -hmm. lower left. Mm -hmm. And recently we showed it in the next, in another show, next picture, please, we found this little iconic yeah. little diagram that shows all the icons are considered to be icons that were around at that time, and uh, the Ilikai is there at the very right. left corner, right? With the Waikikian and the aluminum And the dome. dome. So all these innovative, I mean, this this was top notch. Yes, this it was. This was really cool. I mean, this yes. wasn't, wasn't anything. You didn't see it in a lot of places no, in the world. No, no, this no, was uh, far out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Right. You saw the coolest and the most yes, cutting edge, did. Cutting yes, edge stuff. And the next picture is our permanent background picture. And that is a pretty well done uh, rendering. That was all pre-computer ages. Yes. So this is hand drawn and basically watercolored pretty much. And it basically shows, because as you pointed out, Dillingham uh, passed it on to Chin yeah. Ho, and he had enough to do with the mall. Yeah. But even Chin Ho, as we heard in the next picture, please, uh, because he tried to sell it from paper. He designed yeah. it and tried to basically sell units yes. as condominiums. And even he, you know, being pretty Correct. powerful and pretty, uh, prosperous, we should say, right, yes. uh, had, had a hard time. And we want to just show these two diagrams here, floor plans, because the left one is from back in the days. And just the, the way it was drawn, sort of playful, 
the, the, the lines don't stop where the other line is. Yeah. They, you know, the boats yes. and stuff and the color yes. runs. And they also call it um, pretty much here, um, you know, mountain view and ocean view and ocean view. And the other one somehow, um, somehow it's not in the picture, but it's basically said city view. You can barely see it. The blue yeah. is a little light here. So yeah. it just shows yeah. you, you know, the, the, the left one is really the, and you pointed out something interesting as far as its configuration. Yeah, right? and I did not remember this until I looked at this again. Each of the wings of this hotel are a different size and a different length. Mm -hmm. They are not even. Mm -hmm. You can't see that when you're actually looking at the building yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in fact, it isn't symmetrical, mm -hmm. which is quite unusual, yeah. I would think. And something also unusual in the next picture shows the layout. This is two typical yeah. uh, layouts of, of, of hotel rooms slash condominium rooms, and they're rather large. Yeah. And that is because it was originally uh, conceptualized as condominiums. Correct. And then it didn't sell that well. Yeah. And he had to basically make it into what we call a condo tail right. today, so Correct. a combination between yes. a hotel yes. and a condominium. Right. And 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 they they've been struggling with that. It's a rather complex model. I learned that from my building I live in that we did a show about the Waikiki Grand. Yes. It's hard to get a mortgage for these because yeah. it's not either of the one, so it's kind of in between. Yeah. So people yeah. Are and you've got transient people coming in and out. Exactly. You've got residents exactly. who don't want transient exactly. people, etc. Yep. So it isn't yep. it isn't necessarily an easy mix. Yeah, yeah. And just like maybe like Makaha, you know, this was next picture please, was a bumpy ride to to yeah. get it off the ground. And these are, the one to the left is, is one that you like a lot because it made you think a lot when you were a kid, Yeah, right? when I was eight, nine or 10 years old, that picture on the left of the Ilikai Hotel was really perplexing to me because clearly the background was a real background of Waikiki mm -hmm. and the building looked like a real building, but I could tell also that's a real red carnation lay, which is a very popular lay mm -hmm, of that time mm -hmm. period. So I was really intrigued by how they put this together. And as you pointed out, this is before Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. So it had to be done with a real model with a photograph But line. not a real lay. You don't grow up lay well, that big. Well, that, that's a model isn't very big. That's a lay that, that you know, could fit around a model. I know, I know. So next picture is finally breaking ground. Uh, here it is under construction. It's pretty much what Kurt Sandburn calls a stack lanai. Yeah. So it's post and, uh, and slabs construction here. Uh, next picture. And, and when it was basically, uh, you contribute this postcard here. And there it was, and it was this rather chunky, it was huge. monstrous almost, it was you know, huge. thing. It, it, the, the Ilikai, when it was constructed, looked immense because mm -hmm. there was nothing around mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. It was built on what had been flat, open ground. Yeah. There were no other high-rise buildings close to it that were that tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it really no, stood out. Exactly. And next picture is... Uh, it's basically also from the early days, and it's almost like, you know, you want to compete with nature. There's Diamond mm -hmm. Head, uh, and there is, uh, you know, a man-made mount Absolutely. that they created from Absolutely. scratch. And almost it was erupting. <laughs> right. Capitalism the was the volcano, right, right. that made it basically right. erupt. Right. Uh, next picture, we want to look uh, a little bit inside. These are original uh, pictures here, and I paired it with, uh, again, zeitgeist-wise, there's Kennedy in 63. Uh, turning onto Kalakaua Avenue in Waikiki. Cruising from, through Waikiki. From Kapahulu exactly. Avenue. We went past the Waikiki Grand, wasn't there yet. No, no, no. Where no. you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be. And, and also, I have to apologize because I got screwed up last show because I was saying in 73, it was assassinated it was soon later. It was, of course, 63. And that was the time of the, the, we always use cars as vehicles for thought and reflection. Mm -hmm. So here is the 60s, early 60s Lincoln Continental convertible. That's the sort of bourgeois, that big, proud, yeah. patriotic car. That's and that right. we think is the Ilikai, right? That's the Well, and, and you brought this up, and I think if we go to the next picture, we'll see that too. Because you pointed out that this is the lobby of the Ilikai, which mm. is not extreme. Mm -hmm. it, it is meant to att attract more of a middle class yeah. type of clientele. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they're not trying to be extreme, but like the Lincoln Continental, it's clean, it's mm -hmm. sharp, yeah. it doesn't have a lot of embellishments or stuff on it. Mm -hmm. It is a modern structure. Absolutely, yeah. And so, also shown in the next picture, and I found these two ads from way back about the Lincoln. And so this is the night atmosphere. Yes. This is sort of glamorous and glitzy, yeah. Yeah. which Kalakaua has always been and still yep. is. And and so was you know, cruising in that Lincoln Continental that's very elegant and and just very, you know, American. I mean, me yeah. as an Americano, this yes. is what America was, that's and right. you know, at its best. You right. Know? And also, I think we go to the next picture, we can also point out, too, that 
that nighttime fountain that we see mm -hmm. there, and we've seen in the other two pictures, was part of glamorizing oh, the oh, Ilikai yeah. as a nighttime destination. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you pointed out that one of the features of the Ilikai is this outdoor e elevator, mm -hmm. which was really innovative mm -hmm. at the time. And mm -hmm. I can tell you, people were really ex astonished by it. Yeah. The elevator shaft on the exterior is illuminated is illuminated at night mm -hmm. as we with see this at the blue bottom light. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the feature of the exterior of the hotel mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. makes it exciting. Absolutely. At the night. And next picture gets us up to a rooftop yeah, restaurant. The top of the eye. That has two little brothers and one we show at the very bottom right. That's from the show with John Williams here. This is the top of Waikiki at Winbauer Building on Kala Kawa, a couple blocks over to Diamond Head. That one is revolving as was the next one above it at the bottom right where Elvis sits there. And that was the La Ronde of the Ella Moana Building. This one here wasn't, wasn't revolving. No. But it was still, you know, pretty, was, okay. pretty much. And a rooftop what, restaurant on top of a high rise was also very typical of that time yeah, period. Yeah, so yeah. if you built a new high rise, mm -hmm. you put a rooftop mm -hmm. restaurant, mm -hmm. and that's where you went. And when I went to Havana, mm -hmm. Cuba, on top of one of their tallest buildings, which was built in 1958, they have a restaurant there, there you too. Go. So it was a must. It was a zeitgeist Absolutely. Must. Oh, yes, completely, uh -huh. yeah, completely, yeah. yes. And right. also next picture, which you already saw on this one here, this is like the branding of it, right? There's yeah. another illustration down there, a watercolor. It's sort of a, they created the whole scenery, the atmosphere, the mm -hmm. lifestyle was sort of, you know, was and designed. It was totally designed and you pointed out, too, that in the picture, which we will see in the next mm -hmm. photograph, that's a rendering. These are both renderings of a building which hadn't been built yet, but in this picture, it's there. And that's mm -hmm. the smaller tower, which is on the Eva side of this complex yeah. that now encompasses the Ilikai and that other tower. And they, interesting enough, talking branding, this one is now branded to be the modern. Correct. And that speaks for itself. It and does. they celebrated, the actually, the times. It's yes. sort of referring back and say, these are the cool days. Right. So let's bring them back. Right. And whereas the Ilikai, um, we can go to the next picture, is pretty much kept original, authentic in, in its main parts. Yes. But way back, they were really indulging in it and celebrating it oh, up yeah. to, as you can see here, uh, uh, music, recording, and once again, I love the sort of 60s. It reminds me of the fishes in the, yeah. um, what is it called, the apartment building, uh, the complex, the yeah, little yeah, one, the, the proletarian the, paradise. Yeah, Diamond Head Lanai's. Exactly, the yeah. little fishes there. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is very yes. sort of pop modern, oh, right? Yeah. Very, very um, abstract. Yes. And it's yes. not trying to be sentimentally Hawaiian. No. Right? It's, but it's modern. It's it, modern. And, and, yeah. and the, and it's the word ilikai means surface of the ocean. Mm -hmm. So that's why that illustration is focusing on the surface of the ocean with yeah. the canoe on it and Diamond Head in the background. That's the name. And this leads us into how much the ilikai promoted itself. Exactly. Which mm -hmm. they did a great mm -hmm. deal in the 1960s. And as just the term exotic was popping out of yeah. my mind, next picture. The Exotica movement also was related to it because here's Arthur Lehman, once again, as one of the three from the yeah. Exotica movement. And yes. once again, here he is in the Ilikai. Right, and live at the Ilikai with the, with the logotype on the wall behind him in the distance and mm -hmm. the two mm -hmm. exotic tropical birds mm -hmm. which have nothing to do with the Pacific mm -hmm. Ocean. And, 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 but then it also was also sort of communicated beyond the island oh, yes. and uh, through America pop culture. And yes. you surprised me because Unless the very third one, I did not know of these three. So okay. tell, tell and teach us. Yeah, okay, so our next, our next three pictures. Let's go to our next picture. Here is the first of several visions of the Ilikai as it appeared on television shows in America in the 1960s. The first, Shindig, which was a rock and roll music show. And they came out here in 1965 and did two shows taped on location. They shot a bunch of stuff at the Ilikai Hotel to promote the Ilikai Hotel, and that's what you see on the right. They're mm -hmm. on that deck mm -hmm. by the pool. Mm -hmm. In the next picture, we go to another TV show. This is the pilot film for the film for the TV series Gilligan's Island. Mm -hmm. They came out and shot it here at the Alawai Yacht Harbor. Mm -hmm. In the background, you can see the Ilikai under construction. The, the crane is still there. Mm -hmm. You see the Kaiser Hospital. You see the Trade Winds apartment building. And here are some of those soon to be castaways about to get on the minnow for their three hour tour before they get mm -hmm. washed up on Gilligan's Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And finally we go to... And that one even they even made it to Germany, the one you're showing us oh, now. This of course is, it did. This, this is, was hugely popular. This mm -hmm. was popular all over the world. Yeah, yeah. No, not this one, but Genie oh, the next was one. coming up The next now. one. Okay, I bet, these, I bet you had Gilligan's Island too. <laughs> I Dream of Genie, very, very popular in the mid-60s. 
And there on the right is Barbara Eden playing Jeannie. On the left is her, quote, master, unquote, uh, Major Tony Nelson. They came here for several shows uh, shot on location in the mid-60s. And in this particular episode at the Ely Kai Hotel, Jeannie brought King Kamehameha back to life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I mean, how crazy <laughs> is that? That's a funny one, yeah. That's very cool. And look at the total piece of artwork of shirts. The shirts yes. are the same. They're, they're not literally they're very Lines. abstract. They're very abstract, yeah. right? And yeah. so, um, next three pictures is us quoting uh, our colleague Kurt Sandburn um, and saying, "What is it? What does the you know? What kind of context you recall uh, in and around the Elika?" And he was uh, sharing with us uh, these three here, these projects, and this was uh, the new Otani in Tokyo. As you can tell from the picture at the bottom left, very uh, similar, yes. a three-wing star with a revolving uh, sky restaurant at the top. And this one became popular in pop culture through uh, James Bond. Yes, um, and they filmed uh, the, the, the film You Only Live Twice was shot in Japan, and it's supposed to be the headquarters of a giant uh, economic company. And you can see in the picture of Sean Connery with mm -hmm, that in the background. Mm -hmm, exactly. And But the, as we're trying to point out, the Ilikai predated that yep. one. This was in 64, so Ilikai must have been the trend center for yes. that one. Yes. Again, imagine innovation started from our island. And here we are out How here. How amazing. Next right. picture, and it informed another one built the same year that was also in '64. And this is the uh, Hilton in DC. And this has a more sort of concave shaped yes. wing form, uh, but again, uh, uh, very, very sort of similar. And the third one is uh, uh, about half of a decade later. This is pretty much the Hilton in Las Vegas, as you can tell. Correct. And appeared in another James Bond another movie, James which was Bond Diamonds movie. Are Forever. Yeah, and, but also another tragic sort of popular thing happened, which we're sort of half blocking there, which you pointed out. Yeah, this was the scene of a, of a significant fire. Mm -hmm. And so reality does, unfortunately, re intrude sometimes into Hollywood fantasies. And this hotel, this Hilton in Las Vegas, was badly damaged. A number of people were killed in a fire there. So it's not all glamour, unfortunately. No, 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 no. And the next picture, uh, at the bottom left, you saw from that previous one, you saw they also have events. Here is uh, Correct. Danny, Danny Kane. Kane. But then uh, there's a connection here, next picture, that basically Elvis Presley, who was very sort of involved in that project here in Las Vegas, uh, in 69, uh, he was playing there, and he was promoting it, as you can see, Correct. all over the place. I even found that picture at the bottom right, where he must have been part of the groundbreaking ceremony. Right. They have hard hats, and he's yeah. there and, and signing and that, something. By the way, when, when Elvis started that Las Vegas appearance, which uh -huh. he did, he went back to live performances. Yeah. It's got a tremendous amount of publicity. It really publicized the hotel as well as Elvis. So it's a big comeback exactly. for Elvis exactly. and that hotel. And then there is a connection, no surprise to us no. here, next picture, next because picture. it has to do with the Illichai. And uh, Elvis Presley, and that was uh, when his coming back was in the 70s, but this was early in the 60s right. around Blue Hawaii, where they basically rented a hotel room, as you can see here, various, there's Priscilla, and there's this very sort of 60-ish, very oh, yeah. poppy, yeah. you know, and, and here they are. And there's, so there's Elvis in residence at the Ely Kai. Exactly. And he, we saw him in Las Vegas in a building, and we mm -hmm. see him in mm -hmm. Honolulu mm -hmm. in another similar building. And talking TV and movies and TV series, the next picture, probably most known and yeah. promoted, the Ely Kai had been through Hawaii 5 Oh, here once again, thanks to Stefan, my German version. Y five null, and in that in that second season here, I found one which plays majorly in and around the Ilikai, and I did the screenshots here. And once again, you got all the features you were talking about, the sort of the pool with that sort of splashing, yeah. you know, yeah. bohemian kind of fountains. Yeah. And also the the hotel rooms, whereas the hotel maybe is more international style. Yes. Uh, and not very localized, but the hotel room, as you can see, the walls were wood clad. Even the light switch has the same materiality or, or, or look, and you pointed out the shoji screen. Yeah, right. And so this is very typical of the time period. They had shoji door, shoji inspired doors, mm -hmm. very popular here for hotels and private homes that look like Japanese mm -hmm. traditional doors, except not, they're not made of paper, they're made of uh, translucent yeah. plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But, but most memorized by many people, oh, yeah. the Ilikai was next picture. At the opening scene of every Hawaii Five O, there was the crazy helicopter almost seeming to fly into the yeah. building. 
And then um, the close-up, the zoom in and close-up of the star, Jack Lord, incredibly important. I mean, it's made a huge impression all over the world, that opening sequence, because yeah, yeah. it was so dramatic mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm, well done mm -hmm. to zoom in on him and have him turn and look at you in that same shot. Exactly. Amazing. And you, we just found out that at the time this was shot, Jack Lord was actually living mm -hmm. in one mm -hmm. of these that mm -hmm. could have been his penthouse mm -hmm. uh, it, it apartment. It was, it was. And he subsequently moved to the Kahala Hilton, or the Kahala Apartments, next mm -hmm. to the Kahala Hilton Hotel. Which we were talking about in the previous show, about. which is referenced to at the bottom right here, pretty right, much. Right, right. And then um, we have number, the next picture is, we also quizzed uh, our one and only expert of uh, modern Hawaiian history on the island, Don Hibbert, and said, what are your thoughts? What should we not miss out? Uh, when we refer to the Ilikai, he said, you should certainly not uh, miss out on the Sheraton Waikiki, which was built in 71. Yes. So several years later, almost a decade, you can say. Mm -hmm. And the only thing you can really find online, I mean, just, you know, compared to the opulence of, yes. you know, stuff we have just shared, yes. you find a postcard here and there. But for some reason, uh, this one here has never made it up to that iconic No, they status. didn't promote themselves as much, but also at the time that the Sheraton was built, Waikiki had been built up a great deal more. It didn't stand mm -hmm. out quite as much, although mm -hmm. when it was constructed, it was promoted as the biggest hotel in the world oh, wow. when it opened. Mm -hmm. So that is a big deal, but no, that shows you that within those intervening years, yeah, it was yeah. not as big a deal as yeah, the Ely yeah, yeah, yeah. had been. Uh -huh. That's Absolutely. how fast when a little changed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's next picture. That's also what Don then refers to when we quote him here with his with his book that he basically says yes the the, the town the hood neighborhood mm -hmm. grew around it and so it was sort of i guess uh, undoing its iconic yeah. uh, iconicness yes. uh, because again it wasn't self standing anymore no. um, but uh, the next picture is again going back to the original dreaming and, and envisioning of the Ilikai. Again, this early sketch, very abstract, artsy. As you pointed out, the signage been kept until these days. Yes. Never changed. Yes. And in hotel industry, as we know, and Suzanne knows as our experts, you got to have an overturn, you know, absolutely. every so many six years, you got to do something new, you know, it's for the people oh, still absolutely. coming. No, it's but, very unusual that their, their main uh, sign, as mm -hmm. you pointed out, above their front door, mm -hmm. they have never changed that logo yeah, type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They and, have changed their logo type in other types of advertising, but yeah, not that. Absolutely. And when they observe their 50th anniversary, of course, you go back to that 60s thing. And just like we've said before, mm -hmm. everything goes through a cycle. Exactly. So that logo type would have gone through a period where it was very outdated and mm -hmm. consistent Mm -hmm. outmoded, mm -hmm. and then it gets back to where it's cool again. Exactly. And there and, we are. And talking cool, literally and figuratively, next picture, as we had observed the building a while ago in our show about Lanai's, um, it, it's from its floor plan, as we said before, very western, double-loaded corridor, but then it got exoticized through having Lanai's wrapped all around it. Yes. You got sliding doors. Yes. So it's pretty much, you know, adapted to the to the culture and climate here, Correct. as one should do the architecture. And then when we were referring to it a while ago, next picture, I was sharing with you uh, some uh, academic, uh, emerging academic observations here, and you were intrigued by these, right? I was really intrigued because the the plan that we see there shows mm -hmm. that the Ilikai is situated in such a way that it is either taking advantage of or it was built with an awareness of the weather conditions that are normally going on. Mm -hmm. So it is facing into the trade winds, so the trade winds are gonna go on either side mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. And that is much better than what we've talked about, putting something flat against mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. trade winds or, mm -hmm. or this aerodynamic. Way, aerodynamic mm -hmm. And also that that's more of an awareness of sort of an environmental consciousness mm -hmm. than I think mm -hmm. I would have thought at the time people exactly. would have had. Exactly, but again, Referring back to our um, most uh, commercial classic show about John Graham's yeah. Alamoana building yeah. with the sun retractable louvers, then maybe it's not so surprised. No, I guess not. And people just had it. This was the pre-fossil era. People just yeah. had it. They were not thinking air conditioning. They were designing Correct. with a natural system. Exactly. Right? Air conditioning was too expensive. Exactly. And you made use of yeah. things to yeah, get yeah. away from mm -hmm. it rather than exactly. just automatically yeah. install yeah. it. So next picture is me uh, basically on my way back home from the shows. Uh, I'm not looking at what Concernbird called basically an offense to the environment. Directly that, in front that, of you. Exactly, that new timeshare tower. But you scoop by and cruise by the Ilikai, and then um, 
I throw in, if we can get the camera to the table here, my CD of Elvis Presley, Aloha Hawaii, right? Yes, yes, yes. And there's one, yeah, let, me, let me hold this and up. And there's so one that... song in there where Elvis actually basically welcomes Jack Lord as being in the audience. Which and, is and really cool. He loves Hawaii Five-O. So there's this connection again. Right. It's supporting and branding. And, and this was also other. really important for Elvis, this live from Hawaii concert mm -hmm, that was shown mm -hmm. throughout the entire world, 1973-74. Exactly. Uh, he landed in a helicopter mm -hmm. next to oh, the wow. Ailikai Hotel oh, wow. after arriving at Honolulu Airport. Wow. Wow. Comes back to our comes back to our subject tonight, Ailikai Hotel. Absolutely. And phasing out, we always look into the future and say, what are the lessons learned from that? So the next picture again, what do we learn? Well, we're, we're back to Primitiva, and we are, Primitiva is our cylindrical sort of fantasy tower, if mm -hmm. you will, mm -hmm. that is putting into effect a variety of other types of ways of living that mm -hmm. are different from the average sort of big box standing up there in the sky. It's got more open space, it's got greenery, and as you were saying, it's sort of, um, Instead of looking at it, you can look through it mm -hmm. because a lot mm -hmm. of a lot of it is open. Yeah, and in that case here, we we provocatively put it as one of the testing locations in front of the narrow side of the Alamoana Hotel, because there actually you could sort of house all the working force people that work in the mall. Mm -hmm. And instead of having them drive far out yes. west and yes. get up in the morning at three and commute back, that's and right, trying to make a living and struggling. What we're saying is basically you got to evolve sort of the genetic code of a neighborhood and update it and, and should basically sort of renew that sort of notion of innovation. And now we yes. got if different yes. issues. We got yes. social issues. Yes. We got affordability issues. Which we got, were not really prominent at the time they that Ilikai was built. They weren't. So you, yeah. can't, you can't build Ilikai literally again, and you shouldn't, mm -hmm. but in, in the spirit, you should move on and design things like, like Primitiva. And the next right. picture, we have one last picture, that we also shouldn't uh, stay you know, in the building range, but we should look at the urban fabric and basically sort of referring to, to Don Hibbert's book, Designing Paradise, you should redesign paradise. In, in substantially renovating uh, a tourist neighborhood, a tourist and town. You just made a really important, interesting statement to me, which was let's think of dim let's think of Waikiki as a box of jewels or mm -hmm. jewel box. Mm -hmm. And if you were to look at, for example, a display box that has a bunch of rings in it, mm -hmm. each one of those rings might be different. Each one of them might be designed differently. There is a unity and a coherence to the entire jewelry display. But each one of those of itself is something that is important and should be looked at. Exactly. So. Mm -hmm. Let's very work good. towards that. No, very good. And all that's supported by our expert, tropical tourism expert, Suzanne. So uh, with that, we leave you with that, but hopefully we see you next week. Yes. And until then, you guys, please stay uh, innovatively exotic and exotically innovative. And see you then. Bye-bye.